Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins here on our YouTube channel. Guess what? Everybody wants to buy low and sell high. When do you get the best opportunity to do that? When the market bottoms. There's been a lot of blood in the streets and stocks have been beaten down. The market is oversold. Big money is looking for an opportunity to load up on stocks and to buy them at a bargain price. Well, things are keeping that from happening. Inflation is at a 40-year high, gas is high everywhere, and it looks like the only direction for the market is further down. But what if you had an indicator, or actually two, that tells you when the market is looking for a bottom? Would that pique your interest? Well, actually, we have two market timing indicators that can set you up for the right time to pull the trigger for bottom fishing campaign. So let's get started. Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here on our YouTube channel. Glad to be here, glad to bring this video to you. Again, I think it's another important video for what's going on in the current market conditions. So, as we get into this, uh, the market has just been beaten up. There's a lot of volatility in the market, so it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, and goes down, but bigly, there's a lot of blood in the streets. Stocks have been beaten up. Recently, retail stocks have dragged the market down. Uh, energy stocks, which were rocketing, are now pulling back a little bit. So it makes it tough for anyone to know what to truly do right now. And um, are we looking for a bottom? Well, the answer to the question is yes. We are looking for a bottom. And if you stay with me to the end of the video, I'm going to give you some um, opportunities to show you what kinds of stocks to look for once this happens. So let's get back to are we looking for a bottom? Well, if you look at all of the bad news that's in the market, um, it's hard to say that the market is actually bottoming out or if it will ever bottom out. And at some point in time, it's got to, right? But something that we look at is indicators in our software, only found in our software. So this is one of those times when if you're not a VectorVest subscriber, some of these things you won't be able to tell uh, on your own. But, you know, with all of the videos and live streams we do, if you stay with us, we'll try to help you along the way. But if you're a subscriber, you guys have the primo tool to help you to know when a bottom is in. And we give you guidance throughout the week. Every single day, we give you guidance and we prepare you so that when it happens, you're ready to rock and roll. For those people who are not subscribers, if you go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YouTube, or actually it's forward slash YT, which stands for YouTube, 99 cents will get you 30 day access because I think this is something that you're going to need to have to know when the market really does bottom and starts going up. Now, recently, the market did seem like it want, wanted to bottom and it went up for two days and then very quickly the market came back down. And again, that's because of the things that weigh heavily on the market right now, specifically looking at uh, inflation, rising interest rates, the war in Ukraine. All right, so let me stop talking a second and let me get you right into the VectorVest homepage. And from the VectorVest homepage, here's the two indicators we have. We do time the market. We don't guess at which way the market is going to go. We follow the trend of the market because we are trend followers and we keep our subscribers on the right side of the trend. So we have an indicator called the MTI or market timing indicator. And I'm not going to go into deep detail on what that indicator does. But it does let us know what the underlying trend of the market is doing. And it's cast on a scale between zero and two. Below one, the underlying trend of the market is down. And when this indicator gets to a value of 0 0.60 or lower, the market is looking for a bottom. Now, listen to the words that I'm saying looking for a bottom. I am now alerted that the market is looking for a bottom. And we have another indicator called the BSR or buy to sell ratio. And when that indicator gets to the level of 0.20 or below, the market is 
looking for a bottom. So as of right now, both of these indicators are telling me that the market is looking for a bottom. Let's look at today. We did get a green light in our color, color guard price column. Now, I've got a lot of questions that come up. If the market's so bearish, why is there not a lot more red in the color guard? That's because the market has been so beaten up that when we come out with the color guard, these indicators that are yellow are going higher on a week over week basis putting those into yellow categories. That's why there's not so much red. And that's another positive sign in regards to looking for a market bottom. If this is our traffic light into the market, what's the predominant color you see? Yellow. What does our guidance say? Vector Vest advocates caution when buying stocks at this time. And that's even with the market going down. Something behind the scenes is telling you Get ready. Well, the two things behind the scenes are the MTI and the buy to sell ratio in our software, letting us know we need to be alert that the market is looking for a bottom. All right. Now, let's go into our market timing graph. We're going to go to the graphs tab at the top. And from the graphs tab, here's a longer looking view of all of the most recent bottoms. And a lot of you will say, well, yeah, after the fact, uh, you can say that you've called the bottom. I invite anybody who has a subscription to the VectorVest software to go back to these dates where we've had these bottoms. Go look at the guidance in the views tab at the top. Let us know if we were letting you know to get ready at that time. I invite anybody to do that, especially if you're not a subscriber. Take that 99 cent trial. I want you to go back to these dates that I'm going to show you, and I want you to see what the guidance was to prepare you for market bottom. All right, let's start off back here in 2009. Well, we all know what happened in 2007, 2008. We had the housing bubble. 2009 kicked in. The Fed stepped in and said, yo, we're going to help you guys out. Going to give some stimulus so that we can keep the market from going into a recession. The date here, let's go to the date line. The date here... Let me move that over. The date here was sitting at the date of about, let me move this over just a little bit more. Shitting about the date of about 3-9 of 2000, uh, 2009. Go back in the views, go check a look at that date. Now let's talk about more importantly, what these indicators were doing. The MTI was at a level of 0 0.30. Remember, needs to be below 0 0.60. The buy to sell ratio was definitely low at 0 0.007, 0 0.07. And look at that. Look at that nice run up. Now, I can clearly see that that's a bottom, right? And that's why I invite you to go look at the views to see what we were saying in our nightly newsletter on that day, right? Nice run up in the market. Market pulls back. These indicators, uh, even along the way, were giving levels where they were hitting levels of a bottom again um, and running back up. A little bit of a pullback here, a little bit of a pullback here. 2016, uh, what's the date here? Let's move that over. Date sitting at about 119 of 2016, uh, 121 of 2016. MTI, 0.52. Buy to sell ratio even lower. And look at that rebound coming in. Next one I have here is on 2019. Let's scroll that over. And 2019, MTI, 0 0.56, and buy to sell ratio, 0 0.11. Now, notice that the further below these values, the more explosive the rally. This rally wasn't nearly as explosive as the other two, but nonetheless was a bottom fishing scenario. Of course, we know COVID. Let's go back to about... Uh, 323 of 2020, big pullback. And look at the steep pullback right here, but look at the steeper rebound. Now, a lot of people are saying, man, we're not nearly as low as we were back in blah, 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 blah. I want you to understand and look at something in regards to the current market's conditions. Notice these rebounds are sitting at about a 45 degree angle. Notice that this rebound after COVID is a lot steeper and the pullback altogether is a lot steeper as well. Let me tell you what's different between this rebound and these rebounds. Inflation. 
inflation is playing such a bigger role in what's going on in the market right now that it's pushing this market down a lot and faster. But where are we right now? If we go and look at the most current data, the MTI is 0.49. The buy to sell ratio is 0.11. Again, not nearly as overextended as it was in 2009, 2016, 2019, actually 2020. They were a lot deeper here. But I want to now propose to you that not only are we coming to the level of a market bottom, I'm thinking that with the current market situation, we're going to have several bottoms. And off of those bottoms, the runs are going to be shorter lived. Are they still bottom fishing opportunities to buy low and sell high? Absolutely. But if the market continues on the path that it is right now with such high inflation and high gas and um, and all of these different things, the rebounds are going to be a lot less up. But they will still happen. Even most recently here, I'm going to zoom in. Uh, actually, let's go to another market timing graph. And I'm going to put us onto a one-month graph. You know, even though we had a rebound here, shorter live rebound. We had a rebound here, shorter live rebound. Let's go look at that date. And I didn't do this beforehand. Where is the MTI? Below. And what was the buy-to-sell ratio? Below. The rally wasn't long-term. But that could have been a bottom for that time. We pull back. Here's another one. Let's click on 512, 2022. MTI, clearly below. Buy to sell ratio, clearly below. Look at the rebound. Not long term. And I think that with the current market's conditions, we will have market bottoms. But we're definitely in a bearish pull down in the market. These bottoms are not going to be long lived. Now, what else do I need to see for one of these bottoms to be longer lived? Well, I need some kind of positive catalyst. That's what makes a lot of these runs go. All right. That's what makes a lot. Let's go back to the other market timing graph. Um Stimulus, stimulus, stimulus. These are the things that help to really propel the market to really historic new highs. Because this high here on our vector vest composite, remember this vector vest composite, I didn't explain that. What I'm looking at from a market timing perspective is something called the vector vest composite. It's an indexed arithmetic average of all of the stocks that we track, and we track over 9,000 stocks. So when I look at the move of this indicator, it's looking at the a broader range of the market of 9,000 stocks as opposed to just 500 or 30 or 4,300 or 2,000. I'm looking at over 9,000 stocks in this move. So when I look at this, and I've got a level of support right now on our vector vest composite sitting at $52.38. We're at $54.73. That's a solid level of support which gives me more confidence that the market is getting close to a bottom. So not only do we follow the trends, but you know something, the big, do you not think that the big money out there is looking for these levels of support to help to push the market higher, especially if they think that stocks have been beaten up? So yes, we're right at a level where we are searching for a bottom. I don't think that it's far off for us to find another level of a low coming off of this high to find another bottom, uh, to, to take off and move up higher. But I still think that with the overall atmosphere of the market, we definitely have more downside. I am not discounting that. So I'm not here to sell you a pipe dream that get ready, back up the truck and buy everything. We will have opportunities utilizing these indicators to know when the market is looking for a recent bottom. I think that that's probably the best terminology to use. Recent bottom to still take advantage of making money. But the market has got to have some kind of a positive catalyst. My biggest positive catalyst for me at this particular point in time is to drill more. We've got oil. You really want to go after gas prices. You really want to go after inflation. In my opinion, in my opinion, is you've got to go and drill a little bit more. Number two, what is the Fed going to do? The Fed watching the market go down, watching the economy slow down, do they continue 
to keep interest rates rising at that 50 basis points? Do they pull back to 25 basis points? I did a story today on um, Trending Thursday that said the Fed is going to do whatever it needs to do to get inflation under control. In my mind, that's more hawkish. In my mind, that's going to push us into a recession. In my mind, that tells me that the market still has some downside. But in between all of that downside that's there, the market will give you an opportunity to bottom fish because our indicators are letting us know that is the case. Now, I told you if you stayed with me, I would talk to you about how to find some stocks to get involved with when these bottom fishing opportunities happen. Go to our unit search tool. We've got a folder called Search is bottom fishing. If you are not a subscriber to the software, 99 cents gets you 30 days access. And when this time happens, all right, and I think it's still going to happen several times that we're going to bounce. We're going to get a few days of the market really ramping up because big money is going to buy stocks at a low price. You have the opportunity to do it as well. There's 19 searches here to help you to find stocks specifically for that cause. All right. And again, I, I, today is going to be the day I'm really going to push the 99 cent trial because I don't want anybody in VV Nation to miss out on these opportunities. And when the time comes, go to our views tab and we'll give the guidance. And even more recently, just as of last night, prudent investors may buy stocks long only if the market is rising. Aggressive investors and traders should play the market as it develops with a bias to the upside. That sets the stage for you that before you pull the trigger on anything from a bottom fishing perspective or any other perspective, make sure that the market is moving in your direction before you pull the trigger. All right. So folks, all I did was lay out the case for you that the market is at a point that it's looking for a bottom, number one. Number two, I think that we're going to have several bottoms coming off of the most recent high in the market because of the atmosphere in the market. Number three, we will let you know when it's okay to start buying stocks going off of that bottom. Number four, keep in mind, I think that those runs up because of the market atmosphere are going to be short-lived. So take those profits. It may be a great opportunity for you to make 10, 15, 20, 30 percent in a short amount of time. Don't miss that opportunity. With that, folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya.